Hello, everybody. Welcome to the class. It's a pleasure to be with you tonight. So, as usual, we're going to check about the platform first. So, let's check here. Okay. So, here is the class of tonight. And there is the question for you to participate on that one. And uh, remember to do the homework. Este sí tiene, hay que tener cuidado, porque... Uh, Hay que poner las palabras adecuadas, ¿verdad? Hay que tener cuidado con esto. También estamos teniendo este problema que a veces eh, cierra la sesión, no sé por qué. Y hay que volverse a meter. A ver. Simplemente de cerrar y volver a entrar. No sé si les ha dado problema a ustedes eso. Sí, a mí me pasa, teacher. Yo no puedo dejar la sesión abierta. Y si me tardo mucho, no me agarra la respuesta y tengo que volver a entrar. Ok. Sí, a mí también me pasa. Sí, ya lo reportamos, entonces, a ver ahí eh, qué se puede hacer. Igual, pues, eh, si la cerramos y la volvemos a abrir, it shouldn't be any problem. Y hay que tener cuidado con esto. Recordemos que cuando escribimos en las cajitas estas, si ponemos un espacio de más, un símbolo que no va, entonces eh, no lo agarra, ¿verdad? Hay que tener cuidado con eso. Eh, son solo cinco y hay que poner ahí la palabra de acuerdo al, al verbo. So that would be it. Good, good. So we're going to check about the attendance. Hay que recordar que hay que ir terminando toda la plataforma para jueves. Jueves en la noche debería estar ya todo hecho. Así de que si tienen algunas cosas pendientes, please, please check into that one, okay? So let's see. Abel Edenilson Salazar Melara. Abigail Elizabeth Flores Hernández. Present teacher. Good. Carlos Humberto Estrada Escobar. Present teacher. Good. Elia Yanira Canizale Blanco. Francisco Ernesto Acuña Rivera. Gabriel Esaú Melara Rosales. Isela Beatriz Hernández Morales. Joana Saraí Maldonado González. Carla Daniela Molina Cruz. Present. Good. Carla Ivania Naya Ancheta. Present, teacher. Good. Carla Lorena Mendoza Guevara. I'm here. Kevin Ramiro Vázquez Pineda. Present teacher. Good. Laura Guadalupe Fuentes de Meléndez. Marilyn Alejandra Grande Pérez. Present. Good. Mario Ernesto López Ramírez. Mirna Janet Ángel de Castro. Present teacher. Good. Roberto Emilio González Cruz. Santos Cristina Cerritos de Ruiz. Saúl Adalberto Cornejo Valdés. Present. Good. Jocelyn Stephanie Roldán Castaneda. Okay, perfect. Vamos a iniciar con un video y hay que ver cómo entendemos, qué entendemos del video. So, let's see how it goes. Let me just move into that. Okay. Here we go. It's time now to answer some of your business questions. Michael and Yannick are with us once again. The first question is about new employees. What are some effective training strategies for new employees to sort of uh, get them into the mix of the company as well, obviously make them uh, as productive as possible in the beginning? Yannick, you know, this is, or both of you, this is particularly interesting in the context of this show because once you get somebody in, you want to train them in, in their tasks and in the culture of the company. So, Yannick, what are some um, onboarding strategies? 
Well, I think yeah, I think that's what happens is we get we get so wrapped up in finding that great employee, and then we f- sort of forget about them once we bring them in. And it's it's almost just as important, maybe even to think about having a maybe first hundred days or first sixty days to really re-emphasize what they came in for, share the vision, share the big picture of what they're building that something is bigger than them, and then also you know think about how not micromanaging, but how are they going to be independent and give them mastery of of their tasks that they can go on and be uh, bigger, be, be part of something bigger. Mm-hmm. Well, I think it starts with good hiring. Yep. So you hire slowly, mm-hmm. right? And w- what's the best indicator of future performance? It's past performance. So you try to, you work out a way to get people to do the work that they need to do before you will hire them officially. So there's that probationary period, mm-hmm. but it's the ongoing long-term training. It's not, hey, let's get them you know, up to speed in two weeks and then they're off on their own. So I think every single person should have a mentor inside the organization. It's a great idea. Absolutely. That's a great idea. You know, one of the things we do in my company, though it's still you know, small enough to do this, is anytime somebody new comes, the first couple of days they meet and sit down with every single person in the company. Mm-hmm. Because it could, you know, weeks, months could go by and you realize right. two people haven't even spoken to yeah. each other. And, and then the other thing you can do is you can bring them into the decision making process. And every single month I send an email to my team and I say, so what am I doing that's working and what do I need to improve? And they feel comfortable saying, Michael, you're totally messing this thing up. You got to, you know, you're hard to work with here or you're good, whatever it right. is. And, and if you don't feel like you can do that with the people you work for, it's not a good place to work. Yeah. Well, good for you. That's, that's something about your personality, too. But OK, um, that, going to the next question. This is an email from Michael and he writes, we're service providers of a canine scent detection to eliminate pests. Although we have demand for our unique service, we need to increase branding and awareness. What suggestions would you have to help successfully achieve this business goal? Okay, so to explain that in English, um, I believe this company uses dogs to sniff out bed bugs. So, Yannick, for people who don't know about this service or that you can even do this, how do they get the message across? Well, the biggest thing is the branding and awareness. He doesn't need the branding right now. He needs It's a service that people need when they need it. No one's going to be thinking about bed bugs unless they actually have that issue. Mm-hmm. So that means that he needs to show up in the places where they're searching, which is obviously online, and going for long-tail keywords that are like bed bug elimination or bed bug whatever infestation, and, and then taking off by the regions too. So he needs that, and then he'll double up by having the branding. So as soon as they show up at his site, then there's a good-looking site, and there's a reason for what they're doing and what their unique proposition is. But it's not beforehand. It has to be right at the point of the problem. Yeah, that's a really great point. So big search engine marketing strategy. Yeah, and I don't think anybody cares that it's dogs doing the sniffing. It doesn't matter. I have bed bugs. Get rid of them. I don't care how you do it. Right. So to focus on that is about them, not about the customer. And Yannick's exactly, exactly right. When you have bed bugs, you need them. So I would focus Google Places. Mm-hmm. I'd be very, very local in my search. And I'd do a lot of pay-per-click. And maybe on the dog front, though, they need some testimonials. So once you can get someone on the site, we can get rid of your sure. bed bugs. Yeah. Then you get a lot of the customer testimonials. But it's still results that yeah. the customers are interested exactly. in, not how yeah, well, you get there. Right. Once they hit the site, that's when that's when it matters about the dogs, right? It's because that's the benefit that they're showing them, and it's non-fumigating or who knows what what, what the reason is. Right. But, right. Okay. So let's move on to the next one. This is a question about starting your business. Is there a wrong place to launch your business in the United States? In other words, is there one place that's better for you, like Silicon Valley, or can you launch a business in Florida? Love this question. Well, if you want to go into real estate, Florida is probably not a great place right now. Yeah? Yeah. But, I mean, it's conditional. So, you know, there are market conditions that are important. There are tax conditions that are need to consider. There are lifestyle conditions that need to consider. Mm -hmm. Where do you want to live? Uh, Hiring considerations. What kind of uh, 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 workforce do you have in that particular area? So there's a lot of different conditions that need to be considered. I, I don't think there's just you know, one answer. But would you suggest, Yannick, if you are starting a tech company, for instance, that Silicon Valley is better just because you have all of the resources there or no? It, yeah, I mean, it's, it, exactly. I mean, just like Michael said, it's so conditional. I mean, it depends on what you want to do, you know, who your marketplace is and, and why, why you're starting the business. But as far as I know, that there's been successful businesses in all, all uh, every single state of the union here. And uh, I think we'll, we'll continue to have it that way. Right. So I guess what you could do then is list down what do you need yeah. and can you get that in the city and, or and town like, that you're going to I like to Michael's idea about lifestyle. You know, what's, what's important to you, right? 
Right. And you make, make that list, JJ, exactly. Yeah. Okay, well, great. Thank you guys so much for all of your advice. This was You're incredibly welcome. helpful. And if any of you out there have a question for our experts, all you have to do is go to our website. The address is openforum.com slash your business. There, just hit the Ask the Show link to submit a question for our panel. Again, the website is openforum.com slash your business. Or if you'd rather, you can email us your questions and your comments. The address is yourbusiness at msnbc.com. Ok, a ver qué entendimos de la conversación, de la entrevista. Mm, teacher, honestly, I'm cooking, but I'm not listen uh, about uh, the employees and and uh, our own business and what places uh, we can uh, prefer to, um, uh, he talked about florida florida and silicon valley i guess and okay. that's all i can remember very good perfect so yes they are talking about how to run a business where is going to be the best place to run a business and things like that one. And they were answering questions from the people that sometimes they uh, leave a question for them. So very good, perfect. Any other comment on the video? No more. Todos estos videos los pueden encontrar aquí en el libro. ¿verdad? Ahí están los links para poder abrirlos y verlos. La veces que ustedes quieran. So, we're going to continue with the book. This is unit number four. I will be able to tell about policies in my workplace. So, policies. Uh, what is a policy? Do you remember? Uh, políticas. Políticas de una empresa, algo por el estilo. Teacher, Very... este, antes de continuar, estoy viendo la plataforma y está dando el mismo error que mencionaban. Sí, hay que salir y volver a entrar. Y si le vuelve a dar, hay que salir y volver a entrar. Y ahí tendría que dejarlo. Porque sí, ya, ya lo reportamos, ¿verdad? Es un error en sí de la plataforma. No sé qué es lo que le pasa. Pero sí, ya lo reportamos y pues esperamos que se solucione. Pero si sale, se lo saca porque lo saca automáticamente. Y usted vuelve a entrar a veces dos, tres veces. Ya lo deja eh, avanzar, digamos. Guardar lo que tiene que guardar y luego pues. Eh, ya puedo volver a, a entrar. Sí. Ok. So, company procedures and policies. Procedures. What is a procedure? Procedimiento. Very good. Procedure and policy then. So, do you know the policies at your workplace, people? Can you please give me some examples on the policies at your workplace? Uh, maybe I can tell you one. Uh, okay. It's about the extra hours. Okay. Uh, they don't pay. Um. Uh, ¿Cómo se dice? Con dinero. With money. Yeah, with money. Sino que uh, no dan tiempo libre. We get we give free time. So you have a compensatory time. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's right. That is a policy. That is true. Some companies. Uh, depending on the situation, sometimes they prefer not to give you extra money, but you can take the hours in another day. Yeah, there it depends um, of, um, como se dice, the occupation. Okay, okay. Yeah, okay. the sales uh, person uh, has free time, have free time, but um, for example, the assistants, of, of the sales room, ellos, ellos sí, eh, les pagan. Mm, eh, okay. eh, the house, the house, uh, the warehouse, the warehouse personnel um, receives money. But I'm not, <laughs> I don't receive money. Okay, that's the good. But yeah, I mean, 
what you say is very interesting because depending on the position, right? So depending yeah. on the position, the policy is one or is a different one. So that is interesting. Yeah, that's right. Okay, any other policy that you want to share? Hmm. I don't know. Um, in some places, uh, the lunch time changes, right? Mm -hmm. So I have one hour, and the warehouse uh, personnel has uh, thirty minutes. Okay, that is uh, that is true. I mean, depending yeah. of the need. It, yeah, it isn't the same time for all the personnel. It's for some. Yeah, that is true. So. Uh, depending on the need uh, that they require the employees to be there sometimes i mean you have more time or you have less time also for example for holidays you need to work more right extra time things like that one. Yes. So there are okay. kind of very good so there are different kinds of policies yeah and a policy that i love is that uh, when it's our birthday they give uh, they give us um, 20 dollars Okay, that's cool, man. That is yeah, good. and before the pandemic time, they gave us um, a cake and five dollars. Ah, okay. So now you now uh, twenty. Okay, that is good enough. That's nice. Yeah. Okay, so now we're gonna check about the uh, conversation. Uh, como lo hacemos usualmente, yo leo y ustedes ven la pronunciación y luego pues vamos a hacer la práctica. It says, hey, Max, look, I want to know what policies you have in your company. How are you, Max? Well, there are many policies in my company. For example, employees should wear a uniform always. Well, in my company, you shouldn't be late. If you do this, you receive a warning. And should you notify your superiors if you do something wrong? Yes, you should. I see. Another policy we have at my work is the use of drugs. Nobody should do drugs. We also have that policy in my work too. You shouldn't do it. I think so too. Pronunciation questions. Do you have any pronunciation questions? Yes, teacher, I have one. Uh -huh. Where it says, and should you notify your superiors? And how That's, do you pronounce it? That's the way that you pronounce it. You should notify your superior. Superiors. Mm -hmm. mm. And that's all, I guess. Okay, very good. Any other question about pronunciation? Uh, teacher, I know this, um, and should you notify, notify, notify your superiors. Okay. Any other question? No more. Okay. We are going to practice then. Very good. So, vamos a iniciar la práctica con Janet y Carla Daniela. Hello. Estaríamos iniciando la práctica con Janet y Carla Daniela. Ah, I boy teacher. Sorry. Okay. Mm, bueno, empiezo yo. Hey Max, look, I want to know what policies you have in your company. One, two, three, four, five. 
Hello, Janet. Can you hear? Me abandonó Janet. Yo veo que está ahí, pero no sé si nos escucha. No se escucha, Janet. Está, pero no está. <risa> Janet, can you hear us? Ah, ahí está, creo que ahora sí. No. No nos escucha, Janet. Que si hay problema con el internet por allí. Porque veo que la mi imagen está nítida, no sé. Hello, Janet. Ahí que se está pos. Ok, ya, entonces sería Carla, Daniela y Carlos Humberto. Ok, vuelvo a empezar. Yes, please. Okay. Well, hey, hey, Max, look, I want to know what policies you have in your company. How are you, Max? Well, there uh, are many policies in my company. For example, employees should wear a uniform always. Well, in my company, you shouldn't be late. If you do this, you receive a warning. And should you notify your superiors if to you do something wrong? Yes, you should. I see. Another policy we have at my work is the use of drugs. Nobody shows to drugs. We also have the policy in my work too. You shouldn't do it. I think so too. Okay, very good. Perfect. Thank you. Ok, vamos a continuar. Ahora sí nos escucha, Janet. No siempre, no. Ok. So, let's see. Jocelyn, ¿es posible para ti, Jocelyn? No es posible. Cristina. No es posible, either. Laura. Ok, le toca a usted con, a ver, Gabriel, ¿puede usted? Creo que Gabriel no puede. Si no, pues, Laura e, e Ivania, please. Ok, teacher. Hey, Max, look, I want to know what policies, policies. You, policies you have in your company. Who are you, Max? Well, there are many policies in my company. Policies. For example, policies. Okay, then policies in my company. For example, employees should wear a uniform always. Well, in my company, you shouldn't be late if you do this. You re receive a warning and sure you not notify your superiors su superiors superior superiors is you do something wrong yes you should i see another police we have a uh, my or in the use of drugs. Nobody should do drugs. 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 Thanks. We also have that police in my world too. You should do it. I think so too. Very good. Perfect. Thank you. Roberto Cruz is possible for you. Not possible. Um, Elizabeth Hernandez, is it possible for you? Sí, teacher. Good. Le toca con Carla Mendoza, entonces. Okay, teacher. Hey, Max, look, I want to know that policies you have in your company. How are you, Max? Well, there are many policies in my company. For example, Employees should wear uniform always. Well, 
in my company, you shouldn't be late. If you do this, you receive, receive. a warning. And should you notify your superior if you do something wrong? wrong. Yes, you should. I see another policy we have at my work is the use of drugs. Nobody should do drugs. Hello, Elizabeth. Creo que no se puede. Le voy a contestar yo. We also have that policy in my work too. You shouldn't do it. I think so too. Okay, very good. Perfect. Thank you. Okay, now Marilyn. Let's see. And Saula de Alberto. <coughs> okay. Okay. Empiezo yo a usar. <coughs> Con gusto. Okay. Hey Max, look, I want to know what policies you have in your company. How are you, Max? Well, there are many policies in my company. For example, employees show wear uniform always. Employees. That's very well. Ah, perdón, que que se me ha puesto el medio. Okay. Well, in my company, you shouldn't be late. If you do this, you receive a warning. And should you notify your superiors if you do something wrong? Yes, you should. I see. Another policy we have at my work is, he, is the use of rules. Nobody should not throw. We also have that policy in my work. Do you children do it? I think so too. Okay, very good. Perfect. Thank you. Uh, Kevin, is it possible for you? Not possible. Uh, Abel and Nelson, is it possible for you? Okay, pareciera que no. So, let's continue. Uh, Janet, ¿ya puede escucharnos? Eh, sí, teacher. Ah, sí, es que le estábamos diciendo ahí, creo que nos escuchaba, creo que había ah, sí, problemas. Sí, que tenía un problema ahí con esa cosa. <risas> sí, sí, yo la entiendo, no hay ningún problema. A ver, Cristina, ¿es posible para ti? Teacher, hello. Hola, para hacer la conversación, puede. Sí, teacher, ahorita, ahorita. Perfecto. Me acomodo aquí que no voy a estar aquí. Ok. Ahí les toca con Jeanette. Ok. Solo me pongo a mis ayudantes. Ok. Very good. No problem. Bruno. <laughs> hey, Max. Look, I want to know what policy you have in your company. How are you, Max? Well, there are many different policies in my company. For example, if you should wear a uniform always. Just mm, Ah, okay. Uh, well, in my company, you should not. I think it has Shouldn't. Yeah, shouldn't. <laughs> okay. If we lay to do this, you will say, the say. Receive. Uh, what? Receive. Receive. Uh, what? And should should you notify your super if you do something wrong? Yes, you should. I see another another policy we have at my work in this use of drones. Um, the body should do drones. We also we 
also have that body in my board to to choose them. I think so too. Very good, perfect. Thank you. Nice. Yeah. Okay, so um, uh, let's check some uh, pronunciation things. Hay que tener cuidado con policies, verdad? Que es el plural de policy, así como está escrito aquí arriba. Policies. Bueno, creo que por ahí está una en singular. Uh, no recuerdo por ahí. Entonces policies. Luego tenemos shouldn't recordemos que esa es should y luego el sonido de la negación es mm, shouldn't let's see this one is receive okay receive notify ah, aquí está policy drugs and that's it Vamos a chequear vocabulario, entonces. Policies, let's see. Ya vimos que policy es política. ¿Se acuerdan que era should? What is should? Debería. Debería. Very good, perfect. Then we have, let's see. Notify. What is notify? Notificar. Very good, notificar. Oh, let's see. Drugs. What is drugs? Drogas. Okay. And that's it. Hay una cosa interesante aquí. A ver. ¿Por qué aquí dice a uniform y no dice an uniform? A ver si la regla dice... Because, las... um, because in the begin sounds like a... Jay. Very good, that is it. Why? Entonces, Why? Eso. Ah, eso. Entonces recordemos <risa> que la, las, las reglas en inglés que siempre son por la pronunciación, por el sonido. La regla dice que vamos a utilizar an con n, ¿verdad? Antes de una palabra que suena, que inicia el sonido como una vocal. Entonces aquí el sonido es uniform, que es con y, uniform. Por eso va con a. Y no va con an, como cuando decimos an apple or an eraser. En este caso sería a uniform por el sonido que va en la palabra uniform. Que no es de, de, de vocal, sino que de consonante. ¿Alguna pregunta o duda con esto? Yes, I have one. Okay. What's the correct pronunciation of policy in singular? Policy. 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 Okay, policy. Mm -hmm. Very good. Any other question? No questions. Teacher, uh -huh. I, I can make a question um, ajena uh, <laughs> al tema. Of course. Uh, my boyfriend asked you what's the difference between murder and slayer? Murder and? Slayer. Mm, ok. Murder es como un asesinato, un crimen que se ha cometido. Puede ser uno, algo sencillo. Slayer o slaughter es como una matanza, una masacre. O sea, fueron muchos y fue de una manera muy violenta. So, un murder puede ser ah. un envenenamiento o algo por el estilo, ¿verdad? O un, un asesinato por o arma de fuego, pero un slayer o un slaughter, que son bastante parecidos, es como muy, muy violento y es, a veces es como de muchas, muchas personas, o varias personas. Uh, thank you so much. You're welcome. Very good, perfect. Eh, sí, igual si tienen preguntas de otra cosa que no tenga nada que ver con la clase y es de inglés, o de la vida, o de la política, no, de política no hablamos, de otras cosas sí, Pueden hacer la verdad, so no problem. Good. Any other question? Okay, now we're going to do the exercise number three. Complete the questions about the conversation, then write the answers. So what are some policies at Max's company? Uh-huh. According to the conversation, what are some policies 
in a Max's company? Wear a uniform always. Okay, very good. Wear a uniform. Any other? Mm, nobody should do drugs. Yeah, nobody should do drugs. Yo creo que es en cualquier empresa. Creo que sí. Any other? Notify your superiors if you do something wrong. Very good. You should notify your superiors if you do something wrong. Perfect. And uh, number two says, what should a worker do if he or she makes a mistake? Creo que es lo que acaba de decir Saúl Alberto. ¿Cómo sería la respuesta? Mm. Uh, notify your mm -hmm. superior if you do something wrong. That is correct. Notify the superior, yeah. Okay, so uh, we're going to continue. I'm just reporting the problem here. And this is the use of should. Let's see. Um, uh, Marilyn, ¿nos puede ayudar a leer este cuadrito, please? Use the modal verb should for advice and recommendation. Structure, subject plus should plus verb plus complement. Affirmative statement. You should wear a helmet inside the factory. You should be on time every day. Negative statement. Employees shouldn't smoke in the facility. We should, we should not forget to wear the uniform. Very good. Perfect. Thank you, Marilyn. And that is the structure or how to use should. Que ya vimos que es debería. Use the modal verb should for strong advice and recommendations. Cuando queremos dar un consejo así bien, eh, que es algo que creemos que debería hacer la otra persona, una recomendación. La estructura está fácil. Should, uh, perdón, subject, que sería he, she, the woman in the black dress, any subject. Plus should que es el modal verb, plus the verb, porque siempre tiene que llevar un verbo principal, plus the complement. Y hay ejemplos, ¿verdad? Affirmative, you should wear a helmet inside the factory. She should be on time every day. Si se dan cuenta aquí, cuando usamos modales, no hay terceras, hay, no hay regla de terceras personas, ¿verdad? El verbo va normal, en la forma base, y should va, pues, en, en esa parte también. For negative, uh, employees shouldn't, remember the pronunciation, shouldn't smoke in their facilities. We should not forget to wear the uniform. Cualquiera de dos es buena, es correcta, pero lo más normal es usar la contracción. So that is very important. Okay, uh, do you have any questions with the uses of should? Que esto creo que ya lo habíamos visto, pero igual es bueno chequearlo, ¿verdad? Do you have questions with should? Ok, vamos a practicar. Uh, exercise. It says, you should write sentences about the policies in your workplace using words in the parentheses. Entonces, vamos a usar should para hablar de políticas en su lugar de trabajo. Y ahí está lo que vamos a usar en el paréntesis también. My schedule, my dress code, attend trainings, sleep in work hours. My schedule, ¿qué es schedule? ¿Se acuerdan? No sé si era como horario o cita, algo así. Horario, sería horario. Horario. Ok, dress code, ¿qué es dress code? Código de vestimenta. Código de vestimenta, very good. Attend trainings, what is that? Mm, 
no sé, como entrenamiento o capacitación, algo así. Very good. Atender el entrenamiento o capacitación. Good. And the last one says sleep in work hours. Que eso creo que está I claro. wish. <laughs> yeah, that would be good, right? Ok, my friends, les doy unos minutos para que hagan oraciones con should or shouldn't y lo que está entre paréntesis, como para crear una política. So, los dejo unos minutos. Si tienen preguntas, me avisan. Okay, did you finish? ¿Estamos listos? No yet, teacher, because I'm having dinner. Okay. Oh, so I'm trying. Don't Thank worry. Thank you. Vamos a dar un par de minutos más. Let's see how it goes.
Teacher, I finished. Ok, perfect. So let's check together. Number one, a ver, ¿quién quiere compartir el número uno? Voy a teacher. Ok. Lo que sería, I shall respect my schedule every day. Perfect, that is perfect. I should respect my schedule every day. That is just perfect. Thank you. Number two, ¿quién quiere decir el número dos? I can do it. Okay. Uh, he shouldn't forget the dress code. He shouldn't forget uh, the dress code. Very good. Perfect. That is nice. Number three, who wants to share a number three? Anybody? Number three. You should attend training in the machine. Very good. You should attend trainings. Ahí el complemento puede ser cualquier cosa. Every day, every time is requested, something like that. Good. And the last one, number four. Uh, you shouldn't sleep in work hours. Very good. You shouldn't sleep in work hours. Nice. Do you have any question with Shul? No, teacher, I don't. Okay, perfect. Vamos a hacer la, el ejercicio número 5. Vamos a ponernos en grupo y vamos a hablar de las policies que tenemos en el trabajo. Y luego cuando regresemos... Usted va a hablar de las políticas de trabajo de su compañero. Entonces, voy a hacer grupos como de tres porque hay personas que a veces no están conectadas, o sea, están conectadas, pero no pueden participar. Ah, y sería de platicar, ¿verdad? De cuáles son las políticas que tienen en su trabajo. Y luego vamos a usar should o shouldn't para decir cuáles son esas políticas. ¿Preguntas con actividad? Teacher, mm -hmm. we must we must um, write uh, the name of the company of my partner's company. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's, if it's okay, it's fine, not a problem. Could it be? Yeah. Okay. Alguna otra pregunta con la actividad? Okay. Vamos a crear y vamos a ver si. Eh, al menos con una persona van a poder hablar ahí. Ahorita vamos.
Okay, anybody else is, is still pending to go to the break rooms?
Okay. I, I used it, eh, tendría que ponerle your personal, porque your no person. ella. Ajá, o oh, oh. her, her personal. Ah, her person. Hello, eh, ¿les faltará Entonces, bastante o creen que ya casi terminan? Ya casi, ya casi. Ah, bueno. casi. Perfecto, les doy unos minutitos más. Vaya.
Okay, everybody, we're going to check. We're going to check on what you learned from the other companies. Vamos a iniciar con el primer grupo donde estaba Francisco, Gabriel Saúl, Janet, Ángel, Carla Mendoza y Laura Fuentes. No sé qué quiere, quién quiere iniciar. Teacher, okay. este, sería, eh, ¿verdad que yo tengo que decir eh, la política de, del otro compañero? Sí, de alguien más, y alguien más va a decir las suyas. Vaya, vaya. Eh, de Lauri, eh, you should provide quality service. Ok. Uh -huh. You should be a continuous employment. Ok. Good. Eh, yo, yo voy a decir, pero no me acuerdo cómo se llama la chica. Uh, Janet o Carla Mendoza. Ah, Carla. Carla. Okay. Um, you should reply to email as soon as possible. Reply to emails. Okay. Okay. Very good. You shouldn't give your personal phone number your parents. Okay, very good. Very good. That is nice. Okay. Yo voy a decir la de Janet. Okay. Janet, you shouldn't wear very high shoes. Okay. And you should, shouldn't use cell phone in the workplace. Okay, very good. Perfect. Thank you. Creo que nadie más va a participar de ese grupo. Ahora estaban los demás compañeros clientes. Ok, en el grupo número dos teníamos a Gisela, Roberto Cruz y uh, ¿quién más? Creo que nada más, pero no sé, creo que ahí no se pudo. Número tres teníamos a Carlos Humberto, Kevin Ramiro y Saúl Adalberto. Ok, voy a comenzar yo. Ok. Sería, uh, we show out of the office in lunchtime. Okay. Eh, otra sería employees shouldn't wear any other color shoes, only black shoes. Okay. Eh, no sé ahí los demás compañeros. Ajá. Saúl Adalberto. Kevin Ramiro. Mm. Okay. I shouldn't go out of the time. Okay, so you shouldn't go out in your work time. Out of the yeah. ah, okay. work. Okay, pretty good, perfect. Y creo que Kevin no, ¿verdad? A ver, en el cuarto grupo teníamos a Abel, Edelson y Carla Nila. <laughs> Teacher, the nice thing is um, we are partners, so... <laughs> ah, okay. Yeah, we wrote uh, two. Oh. Okay, so tell us about your company then. Okay, ahorita voy. Ahí voy yo. Ay, que no, no hay en la página. Ahí está, ahí está. Uh, we should wear the correct uniform of each day. Okay. Because each day is different. So uh, I use uh, salmon, um, turquoise, and así. Okay. And we shouldn't use the cell phones in the facilities. Okay, very good. Y a ver que le digan las otras dos. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. You should receive your extra hours as free time if you belong to administrative or self person. Okay, good. You should receive your extra hour with money if you are a solid assistant. Okay, very good, perfect. Nice, very good, perfect. So it was a very good practice and now we're going to continue with the book. Here we go. So we're still in unit number four, company procedures and policies. Express possibility to request permission. Okay, 
And in the number one, it says, how often do you ask for permission? Aha, uh -huh, let's see. How often do you ask for permission at your workplace? Hardly ever, teacher, because um, so often I have flu. <laughs> okay. So I lose the, um, get the right to, to ask for one permission. Really? So every time that you're sick, you cannot ask permission. Ajá. Porque, porque dicen que, ah, ya faltaste tantos días y, y así. Well, that's not good. Okay. Yes. Good, perfect. What about the other students? How often do you ask for permission? I have a rarely teacher of permission. Rarely, not that very often. Only, only one. Uh, I am six. <laughs> yeah, only when you're sick is possible, right? So let me just check. Then we're gonna we're gonna do the exercise number two. Well, there is another question. What is the procedure to request permission in your company? You just ask to your boss, or do you have to submit an, a form, or do you have to send an email? Uh, what do you do? That is a very good question, actually. What is the main procedure, teacher? A procedure is procedimiento. Entonces, ¿Cuál es el procedimiento para pedir permiso? What is the procedure to request permission? Yo Primero, teacher, yo, yo no sé cómo usted lo diga, pero uno tiene que medio endulzar al jefe, porque si no, lo manda por allá bien fácil. Really? Yeah. Okay. How can we say that? Uh, well, you need to... Mm. Speak sweetie? No, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. You, you can, you can actuation in the moment. <laughs> okay, you need to perform. <laughs> no. You need to perform. Yeah. So okay, <laughs> all right. So it's not just a matter for you to ask permission. You need to do something. Yeah, you need to go prepared. <laughs> that is true. That is true. Okay, very good. Now we're gonna do the conversation here. It says, well, you know what it says. So we are going to just check the pronunciation first. It says, "Good morning, ladies." How are you doing today? Hello, Hank. I am okay, but Betty is not. Really? What's wrong, Betty? Well, my mother is sick, and my sister can't go see her tomorrow. I am sorry to hear that. You could ask for permission. He's right. You could go to HR department and request a form. Could I mention the reason for a permission? Yes, absolutely. Pronunciation questions. Pronunciation questions, nobody? Real, real, teacher, real. ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Real. Uh, uh, really, really? Okay. Okay. Any other pronunciation questions? Uh, what's wrong or what's wrong? Seria, okay. what's, what's wrong? What's, what's wrong, what's baby? Wrong. Okay. Good. Any other? And six teacher is right. You could go to. Uh, is, yeah, you let's see. He's right. You could go to HR. Cool. It's, it's right. Yeah, he's right. Okay. Good. Any other? Okay, let's okay. practice them. Uh, we're going to start with Cristina and Carla Nila. 
Okay, I'm busy. Good morning, ladies. How are you doing tonight? Hello. Oh, not today. <laughs> Hello. I am okay. Good Betty is not. It's not. Good Betty. Good Betty is not. Really? What's wrong, Betty? Well, my mother is sick and my sister. Can we see her tomorrow? I'm sorry to hear that. You could ask for permission. He is right. You could go to the department and request a form. Okay. Ah, okay. Okay. Could I mention? Mention. 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 Sí, mention. Sí, disculpe que le interrumpa, pero sí, de hecho ahí Julie está mal, tendría que ir siempre acá a la Daniela porque le responde. Entonces. Ajá. Ah, entonces yo. Sí, sí. <risa> Vaya. Could I mention the reason for the permission? Yes, absolutely. Very good. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Now, let's check with Abel, Ed, and Nilsson, and Jeanette. Okay, teacher. Good morning, ladies. How are you doing today? Hello, Hans. I am okay, but Betty is not. Really? What's wrong, Betty? Well, my mother is sick. And my sister can't go see her tomorrow. I am sorry to hear that you could ask for permission. He's right. You could go to. I tengo que decir las letras. Ah, sí, las letras. Uh -huh. HR. HR. Uh -huh. HR. HR. Departments and requests a part. Request. Request. Ah, request. Mm -hmm. Request and first. So, could I mention the reason for the permission? Yes, absolutely. Very good, perfect, thank you. Now, Carlos Humberto and Carla Ivania. Okay, ¿quién comienza? Puede empezar usted si quiere. Okay. Uh, good morning, ladies. How are you doing today? Hello, Han. I am okay. But Betty is not. Really? What's wrong, Betty? Well, my mother is sick and my sister can go see her tomorrow. I'm sorry to hear that. You call us to permission? He is right. She could go to HR department and request a form. Cool, I mentioned the reason. Yes, yes, absolutely. Okay, very good, perfect, thank you. Uh, I guess for Roberto it's not possible, and neither Gabriel. Let's see, Carla Mendoza and Laura Fuentes. Okay. Good morning, ladies. How are you doing today? Hello, Han. I am okay. I am okay, but Betty is not. Really? What's wrong, Betty? Well, my mother is sick, and my sister can go see her tomorrow. I'm sorry to hear that. You could have for permission. He is right. You could go to age. El department and request a form. Cool. I mentioned the reason for the permission. Yes, absolutely. Very good. Perfect. Thank you. Uh, Francisco, is possible for you? Not possible. Kevin Ramiro, is possible for you? Okay, no problem. Then Saul Adalberto and Marilyn. Okay. Good morning, ladies. How are you? 
How are you two doing today? Hello, hi. I'm okay, but Betty is not. Really? What's wrong, Betty? <coughs> well, my mother is sick, and my sister can go see her here tomorrow. I am sorry to hear that. You called us for permission? He is right. You go to go to HR department and request a form. Cool. Could I mention the reason for the permission? <coughs> Are you yes, okay? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Está, está bien, Marvin? Are you okay? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Es que creo que me va a enfermar, pero estoy bien. Hijo, I'm sorry. Ocho inyecciones y no se quita. I know. <laughs> ok, very good. Thank you. Ok, so let's check some uh, pronunciation things. Wrong. Wrong. Yeah, let's see what else. Este recordemos que es department, no department, ¿verdad? And absolutely, creo que lo demás está bien. Uh, what is the check vocabulary? What is wrong? What's wrong, Betty? Como que está mal. Very good. Que está mal. Que tienes de mal. Uh, esta es como un saludo, ¿verdad? How you doing? Es como cómo están. Y casi siempre se dice así. How you doing? And no se dice todas las palabras. How are you doing? So, sino que unido. How you doing? Something like that. Uh, what is to be sick? Anybody? Enfermo. Good. Let's see what else. What is HR? Human resource. Very good. The human resource department, right? And that is it. Good. Sí, Now, uh -huh. y esa señora que quiere decir. Human Resources, Departamento de Recursos ah. Humanos. Mm, okay, al revés. Okay, gracias. Sí, porque va al revés, como se dice, Human Resources. Okay. Very good. Nice. Any other question? Okay, we're going to do the exercise number three. Uh, we're going to answer the questions. What is the problem with Betty? Uh huh. What is the problem with Betty? Her okay, her mother is sick, right? Very good. Her mother is sick, and her sister can go see her tomorrow. Mm, no good. Number two says, do you know someone who had a similar situation? What do you think? Do you have, do you know some, someone maybe in the work or a family member that had a similar situation? Okay. No comments. Let's move on. Mm, yes, teacher, it's similar. A partner has uh, his daughter sick. Okay, Wait, yeah, what? it was not good. And at the end, he got the permission? No, he didn't. Yeah, he got it. Okay, that's good. Perfect. Thank you. We're going to go to how to use cool. Que era lo que vimos ayer. A ver... Um, Laura, could you please help me read in the chart? Um, lea el cuadrito. Yes, please. Use the modal verb cool to express possibility, possibility, structure, subject, and Plus. plus show plus verb plus complement you could request a day of 
she could explain her situation. You could talk to your supervisor or the manager. We could take the company's transportation. Okay, very good, perfect. So, uh, esto es repaso de lo que vimos ayer. Uh, we use the modal verb to express uh, the modal cool to express possibility. Okay, possibility, podría. Que era lo que le decía que es lo más común del uso, aunque vimos muchos usos ayer. So, the structure, subject, sujeto, plus should, plus the verb, plus the complement. Y ahí están algunos ejemplos básicos. You could request a day off. You could talk to your supervisor or the manager. She could explain her situation. We could take the company's transportation. Como es en todos los modal verbs, no hay reglas de tercera persona ni nada por el estilo y siempre tiene que vivir acompañado de un verbo que es el verbo principal. ¿Ok? Uh, ¿Preguntas o dudas con el uso de cool? Ok. Uh, question for you, what is day off? Día libre. Un día libre. You could request a day off. Eh, lo demás creo que está claro. Very good. So we're going to do now the exercise. Uh, aquí hay una situación y luego en la número 5 vamos a inventar una situación. Y con eso nosotros vamos a crear una oración usando cool. Le voy a subir un poquito el cuadrito para que vean el ejemplo, y luego pues vamos a escribirla y vamos a compartir cómo les queda su oración. ¿Preguntas o dudas con lo que vamos a hacer en el ejercicio 4? Ok, les doy unos minutos para que podamos. Ajá. Yo no entendí muy bien, teacher. Ok, en la primera dice, you don't have a car. Entonces son situaciones en general. ¿Qué tiene o qué podría usted hacer si usted no tiene un carro? Entonces, el número uno, con cool, usted va a escribir una oración de acuerdo a esta situación. Ah, thank you. Ok. Any other question on the exercise four? Ok. Le doy tiempo entonces para que hagamos las oraciones. En el cinco es cualquier situación que usted crea eh, conveniente. Let's see how it goes. Teacher, uh, how can I say, uh, como buscar un, un, un crédito para comprar un carro para obtener un carro uh, sería look for a credit look for a credit in a bank por ejemplo ok good
Okay, did we finish? Terminamos ya o necesita un par de minutos más? A mí me falta una. Ok, les doy un par de minutos. No problem. Ok, let's check. A ver, ¿quién quiere compartir el número uno? You don't have a car. So, what is the possibility for that one? No have one. Ok. You could look for a credit in a bank. Yeah, you can look for a credit in a bank and then buy your own car. Very good, perfect. Esta puede tener muchas otras, ¿verdad? You, can, you could uh, get a motorbike, you could walk, you could, I mean, you could, take, you could take the bus, whatever. You ride with cool, that would be, that would, that would be good. Number two, ¿quién quiere compartir el número dos? Yo, teacher. Okay. We should take her to hospital. Very good. You should take that person to the hospital. Good. Number three. Uh, yo, teacher. Uh, I could apply to human resource. I could apply to human resource. Okay. Yeah, that is a good one. Number four, you feel tired or you feel sick? Anybody? Yeah, teacher. Okay. If I will pay medicine, I rest. Sería, I could. I could take medicine. I could pay. Okay. Very good. Perfect. Y la número cinco. ¿Quién quiere compartir la número cinco? Anybody? Uh, you no? need a uh, okay. You need a new headset. Okay. Uh, 
I chose to go to the electronic sales and buy one. Okay, very good. Buy one. Very good. And buy one. Nice. Perfect. Thank you, Saul Alberto. Nice. ¿Alguna pregunta con cool? No questions. Ok, vamos entonces a continuar. A ver, era este, sí. Vamos a continuar con esta conversación para ir avanzando porque esta semana tenemos que ir terminando. Para el viernes tenemos un deber. Desde ahora les vamos a informar. ¿Qué es lo que vamos a hacer? Vamos a hacer una actividad que se llama Bring and Tell. Bring and Tell quiere decir que usted va a traer a la clase algo y va a explicar ese algo. Si es importante para usted, porque es importante, porque le gusta. Puede ser lo que sea. Puede ser una planta, puede ser la foto de un lugar que usted visitó, lo que sea. Y usted va a venir y le va a contar a la clase qué es y por qué es importante para usted. Preguntas con actividad del viernes. Ok, voy a estar recordando todos los días hasta el viernes, ¿verdad? Teacher, uh -huh. uh, could you repeat? Because I'm, I was in the bathroom. Ok, ok, sí, el viernes hay que traer algo, hay una actividad que se llama Bring and Tell, vamos a traer algo a la clase, puede ser un objeto, puede ser, si fue a un lugar y es algo que quiere compartir, puede ser la foto de ese lugar, una planta, una fruta, una comida, una persona, whatever you want, y vamos a explicar en la clase qué es y por qué es importante para nosotros, of course, in English. Ah, ok, that's fine. Okay. So I hope that my cactus uh, blossom its flower. All right, very good. Right, yeah, I hope. Perfect. So I hope as well, so you can share with the class. Yeah, I wish. Good. So let's move on with unit four. It says, I will be able to give and receive instructions on company procedures. And in the number one, it says, where do you usually request permission form? Who is the last person who signs them? Uh, esto es parecido a lo que vimos arriba, solo haremos la conversación. Entonces, lo que dice es lo siguiente. Good afternoon, Ashley, and welcome to our company. Thank you, Mr. Hank. Do you know the procedures and rules of our company? No, not yet, sir. Okay, where do you want to start? What about how to request a permission? Sounds good. I will explain them to you first, and that's it. Do you have any questions with the pronunciation here in this conversation? No, teacher, thank you. It's pretty easy, right? Okay, vamos a practicar entonces. Saúl Alberto y Carla Daniela inician. Okay, good afternoon, Ashley. And welcome to, to you, our company. Hello, Carla Daniela. Boy teacher. Okay. Uh, who is with me? Who's going to talk with me? Saul, ya le dijo la primera parte. Ay, perdón. Uh, thank you, Mr. Hank. Do you know the procedures and rules of our company? No, not yet, sir. Okay, where do you want to start? What about how to request a permission? Sounds good. I will explain them to you first. Very good, Perfect. thank you. Now, Cristina and Jeanette. Hello, Cristina. Perdón, si se que no haya el micrófono, que no haya perdido. Bye. Ok. Good afternoon, Ali, and welcome to all. Company. Thank you, Mr. Han. Do you know the procedures to C 
procedures, así sería, procedures. Procedures, procedures. Procedures, procedures. Do you know the process and rules of our company? No, not yet, sir. Okay, where do you want to start? Want to start? What about how to request request a permission? So good. We explain the thing to you first. Okay, very good, perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Now, uh, Carlos Humberto and Ivania. Okay, ¿quién comienza? Si quiere usted, Carlos. Okay, good afternoon, Ashley. And welcome to our company. Thank you, Mr. Han. Do you know the procedures and roles or of our company? No, not yet, sir. Okay, where do you want to start? What about how to request a permission? Mm, sounds good. I will explain them to you first. Very good, perfect. Thank you. Let's see. Carla Mendoza and Laura Fuentes. Okay. Good afternoon, Ashley. And welcome to our company. Thank you, Mr. Han. Do you know the procedures and rulers of our company? Rules. Mm. No, not yet, sir. Okay, where do you want to start? What about who do request a uh, permission? Sounds good. I will explain them to you first. Very good, perfect. Thank you. Now let's see. Francisco, creo que no puede. Abel and and Marilyn. No sé cómo está Marilyn. Si puede, no puede. Okay. Okay. Good afternoon. Ashley, and welcome to our company. Thank you, Mr. Han. Do you know the procedures and rules of our company? Rules. Rules company? No, of no, good start. Okay, where do you want to start? What about how to request, request a permission? Sounds good. I will explain them to you. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Uh, creería que no hay problemas acá con la pronunciación. Let's check uh, some vocabulary words. Ya vimos que procedo es procedimiento. Remember the pronunciation here is rules. Okay, rules. Uh, sir, ¿qué era sir? Señor. Peter. Señor, very good. Así como muy formal, de verdad. And then, let's see. Explain. What is explain? Avión. No. No. Explain no. sería explicar. Le explicaré. Dice. Yeah. Good. Do you have any questions here? No, teacher, I don't. Okay, so let's do the exercise uh, here according to the conversation. Who is Ashley? Uh -huh. Who is Ashley according to the conversation? I don't know, maybe a receptionist? It might be a receptionist, yeah. Okay. Uh, I guess the answer that we're looking is uh, Ashley is a new employee. Okay, no dice pues qué es lo que hace, pero sí sabemos que es a new, a new hire. Uh -huh. Okay, so number two, who is the person in charge of introducing new employees to the company? Uh -huh. 
Mr. Ray. Mr. Ray, that is it. So Mr. Ray is in charge of introducing new employees and all that is related to the new employees to the company. So that will be very good. Mañana vamos a ver esta parte. Ahora ya no. Very good. Tenemos un par de minutos. Hagamos un par de prácticas. A ver cómo nos va. Uh, creo que solo una vamos a alcanzar a hacer. Ya vamos a ver. Cristina. Hello, teacher. Ok. Hello, how are you? ¿Qué voy a hacer, teacher? No Hablar le... conmigo en inglés. Hello. Okay. How are you? <laughs> um, nice. Very nice. Very good. Perfect. And uh, what do you do after class? Um, um, uh, today, ahora, today. Today? Today, ¿te quieres entrar clases ahora? No. What do you do after class? Um, um, ¿Cómo ahorita en inglés? Right now. Um, try, no. Okay. Um, dormir. <laughs> dormir. Okay, sleep. Uh -huh. Sleep. sleep. <laughs> okay, that is good. That is nice that you go straight to bed. And... Uh, <laughs> What time do you usually get up in the mornings? Get up, no lo entendí. Get up, the morning, sí, en la mañana. Ah, get up, levantarse. A veces, ¿cómo dice inglés? A veces. Sometimes. Sometimes, four, sometimes, five, five. Today, estos días, eh, today, um, these days, eh, these days, okay, these days, so these days, um, five, five. At five, okay. Morning, ah, eh, you five, five, three, five, o sea, las At five thirty. Five, five thirty, uh -huh. Um, okay. five thirty. Uh, uh, six. Uh, uh, seven. Uh, seven. Okay. Good. And mm -hmm. uh, what time do you usually have breakfast? Have breakfast. No, not at that. So what time? ¿Cuál tiempo? Ah, uh, a qué hora, verdad? What yeah. time? Do you usually have breakfast? Breakfast. Um, um, seven. Um, three. O sea, seven, three, siete y media. Seven thirty. Seven thirty. Ah, okay. Uh -huh, seven thirty. Ah, okay, yes. very good. What mm -hmm. is your favorite food? Yes. Breakfast. Breakfast. Ah, sí, me lo había dicho. Breakfast. Frijolitos. Eh, no sé cómo dice en inglés. Ven. Eh, Ahora dígame todo eso en inglés. Ajá. <laughs> <laughs> Así, bien fritito. Bien fritito. Bien madurito. Bien madurito. Teacher, how do you say madurito? About food. 
Mm. Full. Above full. No I suena igual de intenso, teacher. <ríe> no, es, hay una palabra para eso, eh, pero no recuerdo. Vamos a ver si la recuerdo ahorita. Plátano. Pero plátano, ¿cómo diría plátano en inglés? Bueno, pero... uh -huh. Plátano. Es the same, actually, yeah. Sí, sería siempre mature, fíjense, como las personas. Mature. Ay, sí, espérame, que me quedó murita ahorita, espérame. Espérame. Pero sí la escuchamos, ok. So, sí, sería mature siempre, no, no habría ningún problema, mature. Ay, sí, sí, sí. Perdón, teacher, que me había quedado murito, no la escuché. Ah, ok, sí, para maduro sería mature y para plátano mature. siempre es plátano, ¿verdad? Siempre es plátano. Okay. Sí, esa palabra es. Plátano mature. Mature, mature plátano. Ok, teacher, sí, me preguntan para aprender. <risa> ok. <risa> Do you cook every morning? Eh, yes, ajá, lo que le dije. Lo, eh, que el desayuno, vea, ¿Qué, ¿qué es lo que me gusta en el desayuno? No, le acabo de preguntar si me voy a invitar a cenar, me dijo que sí. <risa> ah, mentira. Ah, cena era esa, cena era. <risa> no, no, la estoy sí. molestando. <risa> <laughs> not a problem, not a problem. Okay, very good. Thank you, Cristina. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Very good, my friends. Do you have any questions for the class of tonight? ¿Alguna pregunta de la clase? Okay, let's check the attendance and then go to bed. Abel Edenilson Salazar Melara. Present, teacher. Good. Abigail Elizabeth Flores Hernández. Carlos Humberto Estrada Escobar. Present teacher. Good. Elia Yanira Canizale Blanco. Francisco Ernesto Acuña Rivera. Gabriel Esaú Medara Rosales. Isela Beatriz Hernández Morales. Joana Saraí Maldonado González. Carla Daniela Molina Cruz. Present Good. Carla Ivania Anaya Ancheta. Present Good. Carla Lorena Mendoza Guevara. Good night. Good night. Kevin Ramiro Vázquez Pineda. Laura Guadalupe Fuentes de Meléndez. Present. Good. Marilyn Alejandra Grande Pérez. Mario Ernesto López Ramírez. Mirna Janet Ángel de Castro. Good night. Good night. Robert See you. Emil See you. Roberto Emilio González Cruz. Santos Cristina Cerrito de Ruiz. Present teacher. Good. Saúl Adalberto Cornejo Valdés. Present. Good. And Jocelyn Stephanie Roldán Castaneda. Okay, el one one de ahora es para Roberto González. So, my friends, it was a pleasure to be with you. Have a good night and see you tomorrow. Rest very well. Good night, teacher. Feliz noche. Good night. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night. Hello.